Greetings everyone. Here, I, Deva and I, Ridhuman from Sun City School are going to present a short skit on the Newton's third law of motion. We hope you enjoy. Ridhuman, yeah? we've been saying the third law of motion, the third law of motion, the third law of motion. What exactly is the third law of motion? Oh, you dimwit. The uh, third law of motion states that if an object A exerts a force on object B, then object B must exert a force on object A with equal magnitude but in the opposite direction. This reaction creates some sort of symmetry in nature. Got it? Well, if you think no, then you're probably right. Easier language, please. Fine, fine. Okay. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Understood? Yeah, well, but who created this law and how? Seriously, Diva, that's why I tell you to pay attention in Amit sir's class more. Fine. The third law of motion was uh, derived in the 20th century by Sir Isaac Newton. It consists of his mathematical analysis and physical observations. Whoa. That's all great to me. Do you mind giving me some examples? Alright, fine. When a bullet is shot from a gun, the bullet puts a force on the gun which propels the uh, gun back. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah? Why do all your examples include guns and bullets? Does this law only apply on them or in day-to-day -day life as well? No, of course, there are day-to-day -day examples as well. Alright, fine. Diva, pick up that book. Okay. Now put it back down. Why? Just put it back. Okay, fine. That's great, Diva. Uh, so when you put the book on the table, the uh, table exerted a fo force on the book which kept it stable. Hmm. That's an example of the third law. Well, you're not that dumb after all. It's not me, it's Newton. <laughs> Wait, I kind of get it now. Alright, give me some examples. Hmm, let me think. Uh, basketball. Yeah. Football. Yeah. Oh, right. Oh. But explain it to me. Um, okay, so while playing basketball, when the ball is dribbled, the amount of force applied on the ball is paired with the amount of force the ball applied on the ground. And while playing football, oh, thank you. <laughs> while playing football, the footballer's leg experiences the same amount of magnitude of force by which it applied in the opposite direction. And while swimming, the swimmer pushes the water backwards in order to move forwards. Hey, well done. But you missed, the most, on my back. You, you missed the most important one. Which one? Walking. While a person is walking on the ground, he exerts a force on the ground. And as per Newton's third law, the ground exerts a force on his legs, which makes him go forwards. Oh, oh. well, you're not that dumb after all, I Rudhiman. I in uh, Amit Sir's classes. Still, you scored nine. That's a big insult. <laughs> anyway. As we conclude our presentation, let's remember that every cloud has a silver lining. As we face challenges, let's look for the opportunities they bring. With this thought, we would like to end our presentation. Thank, Thank you. you.